Oh, the dude wants his Twinkie. Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to get back?
Ready? I'm going to desktop audio just a little bit. Let's bring that down. So, um, I've, I've been really busy doing a bunch of stuff today. So, we are going to have a chill stream and just play one of the games. Uh, ooh, dramatic start up with the intro music. Hey, Austin, how's it going? Uh, good morning, I guess. Uh, yes, dramatic start. Now, we're just going to play one of the games I'm the most familiar with playing. Uh, because I am, my brain is a little bit, uh, my brain is a little bit, uh, wonky at the moment. We are, um, playing through the main quest-ish on survival mode, so that means, uh, no fast travel, um, let's see, no fast travel, hunger, uh, you were required to sleep. Oh, right. I was in the middle of this. Um, the Jurgen Windcaller stuff. Uh, I think. Um, let's see. No fast travel. You have to sleep. You have to eat. Uh, in fact, I should eat right now. And uh, I can't remember. I've got a couple of other limitations on it, but we will check it out. Can y'all hear me okay? I'm just gonna. That uh, didn't do much at all. We're just gonna see if we can find a regular meal in here. <laughs> this uh, mode of the game causes me to hoard food like a crazy person. Let's, let's eat the steamed crab legs. Okay, there we go. So I think, ah, do I not have it on? Oh, it's the other button. Okay. Come back here, Lydia. Okay. Okay, so, all right. I just wanted to check and make sure you could hear me okay. I have in every, like, I'm gonna go up here for a little bit. In every game of Skyrim I've ever played, I've had trouble with this puzzle. And I always manage to get it, but it just takes a little while. That's empty. Been to my lunch, there was a pickle, despite saying no pickles, and now I'm suffering. Aw, the poor pickle. Let's see. Nothing else up here, so we're gonna go and face my least favorite puzzle in Skyrim, which is this thing. Okay, so is it... Do you have to do this and then do it again? Like, hmm. Alright. Well, let's see. I think it's just... Alright. Skyrim belongs to the skeleton, says Quiddy. Quiddy, thank you for the jump scare. <laughs> for the 69 bits. Okay. Uh I always end up having this problem with Skyrim. Okay, well, there's that at least. But it only lets me go back, I bet. Yep. Well, darn. Uh, let me know if this gets choppy. I always have that problem with Skyrim, so. Mm, hate this puzzle. This is entertaining gameplay. I can't tell you the number of times I've no clipped through this. Let's see. Tell me if it gets really choppy, guys. Thrilling puzzle solving, right? Nope, nope, 
nope, nope, nope. Okay, so Okay, so that's that's running. So let's I think we were closer that time. I'm just not sure why it wouldn't do the shout when I did it the first time. Okay. Let's wait for that. Run, run, run. It says you can't shout while casting a spell. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to cast a spell, but I've got my hands up, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to unequip my spells. Because it keeps... Th that's the problem I keep having. 11% over the last two minutes. I, I cannot believe that this eight-year-old game chugs while uh, streaming. It is baffling to me. that away. I hate this. It's the worst. This is the worst puzzle in the entire game. That's why I stopped here, because I'd already tried to do it four times. What's so weird is like you're getting hung on something and there's no reason you should. That's so weird. Weird. It seems like you're timing it right, right? But it's not working. Like, I'm doing what i pretty sure I have to do, but... Aha! Victory! Okay. Alright, this is also annoying. I also have a bad feeling about this, Lydia. No? No, we're not gonna... Hey, could you not? Oh, I I have a mod in that turns all of the spiders into foxes. Uh, I mean, like, this whole cave is supposed to be a... Thank you, Quiddy! Thank you very much! This entire dungeon is supposed to be a celebration of this, uh, wold, uh, please don't, please don't axe me in the head, Lydia. Woo! Okay. I don't like that I can hear the noises that that one is making. Giant frostbite spider. Oh, and it's stuck up there because it's not supposed to be that size. Well, it's a good thing I got a fire spell that does some amount of range. Come on. It's supposed to have more range than that. There we go. You're stuck up there because you're not in the right body. I'm peckish. It's fine. This one won't apparently burn the limbs, so I gotta get out the baby's first fire spell. Excuse me. Are we lagging, guys? I'm still getting like 12% drop frames because Skyrim is nuts. Oh, right. This. And then we get to go up here and find out that Delphine stole it before we could get to it. Twelve percent over the last two minutes. 
all else fails, we'll just play Oblivion. But I don't wanna. I want to play Skyrim. Okay, and if I remember correctly... Yeah, there's the boss chest. Uh, I've got a few mods in. Uh, I don't want the Iron Greatsword. I started it off vanilla because I wanted to just play it as vanilla as possible, but then I remembered that there's some things about this game that I just can't leave unmodded. Uh, so I've got in a couple of race mods. I'm playing um, a Nord. You can't really see her, but um, playing a Nord, we're probably we're gonna do the uh, the Imperial quest line. In fact, that might be our goal today: is to go go to Solitude and join the Imperials. Huzzah! I made it through. Okay, now I really need to just go back. I think this is... I don't like that dropped frames notification. It's the depth is the out. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. I run like a normal person. There may have been a different way out of this that I'm not exactly sure. What I'm learning is that a lot of these um, uh, a lot of these dungeons were designed so that there was like a way out that would take you to the outside where you could fast travel away but it wouldn't exactly allow you to just walk out like it oftentimes takes you to the, like the top of a cliff or the inside of a trap or something like that I may have to close some tabs maybe that would help Skyrim behave itself I think I've already gotten this. I don't currently have a horse. Here's Frigid here. Skyrim wants your full attention and nothing less. Right? Okay. So. It's pretty cold here, so we're gonna have to like book it back. We could either go to Solitude or we could go to Morthal. It's a little bit shorter of a trip to Morthal, so I think that's where we're gonna go. Mm. So that's, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Move it. There we go. So I'm going generally the right direction. Stop and gather uh, death bells because uh, the the skill that I'm and I feel like it's uh, it's doing that thing and of course it wasn't doing it until now. I see. Do you notice that like that sort of bouncy thing? It does when I'm stop moving. It doesn't always do that. Ah. Uh, Mud crab. But yes, yeah, so I'm uh, trying to level alchemy uh, right now. Normally the smart way to do that is to do enchanting first. Uh, but 
Um, it takes forever to do that and a lot of money, and I've found the best way for me to make money in the game is uh, for me to make potions. So we're just working on alchemy. And um, in the beginning, one of the best potions that you can use uh, to level your alchemy. Eey, I'm chilly. Wait, I just kind of got totally off course, didn't I? More fellas that way. Uh, can you deal with this fox, please, Lydia? Appreciate you, fam. Can you go back this way? Um, but no, it's a, a potion of slow uh, using death bell and salt. So if you just collect all the salt and then, and then out, out here in Morfall, which uh, is very close to like um, Ustengrav, which is the Jurgen Windcaller area, uh, you can find just tons of death bell. You can't find it in my game because I've picked it all already. Uh, but let's put this away. Um. Okay, so we're going to find the inn, which I think, okay, this is like the thermaturgy place, but that's not my favorite place to level potions. So we're gonna, yeah, this is in. I always end up brute forcing alchemy to figure out what ingredients to do. Well, once upon a time, I decided I was gonna just, um, I was gonna create a base save uh, for my, um, just to start all my characters from. Uh, that was, that already had like, 100 in all the crafting spills, skills, so enchanting, alchemy, and uh, smithing. Uh, and let's see what she's got for sale. Always buy every scrap of salt you see, because it's the most, one of the most useful ingredients. Um, and so I figured out a lot of, like, sort of tricks in the beginning. Uh, one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, check, because I keep getting these drop frame, uh, alerts, so I'm going to, uh, go to the BRB screen really quick, and just kind of make a couple of adjustments. You don't have to give me another alert while I'm looking at the alerts. I had open so that Google Chrome stops taking up so much.
Okay, guys, I am gonna uh, I'm gonna try something really quick. I am going to end the stream uh, and then uh, restart it to kind of uh, try and help Skyrim behave a little better. Um, but I will be right back. 